Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. P-Pal Picks Edition. Yeah, buddy. Uh, so, go to my last video. We did very well. Uh, for the, what, 40 people that are watching, they're making lots of money. I'm going to give you free picks today. Uh, I just give the lines. If you want all the picks, of course, you can. Uh, I just found out that Americans don't do email transfer. Ah, didn't know that. So I guess all my clients are Canadian. Uh, my clients did extremely well yesterday, though. We, uh, we hit the, the big pick. Philly gave us a sweat, but we had Philadelphia in reg. Boom. Nailed it. Uh, Buffalo screwed up our parlay, but that's okay. We're still up money. That's the big thing. Being up money. I'm up money like, I don't know, seven days in a row now. So 780-690-1995. We can work out a system that works best for you. And uh, you can pay me some uh, however way you want. It's $5 for a pick, $10 for a pick and a parlay. If you do the pick and the parlay, uh, you pay if one of them wins. If you do the pick, you only pay if it wins, you see. Why would I charge you if I don't pr pr produce a product that has you making money? So, makes sense, right? You can also come on the NHL Pearl of Wisdom show if you sub up sub yourself up right now I'll send you a my nhl pearls of wisdom necklace and even better than that you get to be on the pearl of wisdom show or part of it it's a interactive we talk about everything to do with hockey three to five eastern time weekdays and i also go do live streams in the evening sometimes i get on there and it get, i do the uh help me with my picks segment and you get to uh find out what all my picks are because you're actually helping me with the picks. I'm, I, I, I bounce a few things off the people that are on there. I get very, very good hockey minds on my picks. I also get people that just casually like hockey and like to listen. So on my show, I mean. So come on there and do that. Okay, we're going to look at somebody wrote me, and I love your letters, by the way. Send your letters. Guido goes down to get them every morning in the mailroom, comes up with the sack. Pours it on the letter table. We all do a perlo dance. And I got, look at, I got Donald Duck. That's what, that's the, that's the way I look at when uh, Buffalo craps the bet against San Jose Sharks is half the team is on COVID. That's how I look. Uh, yeah, send your letters. And they, I forgot to show you my picks from my Patreon last time. So I'm going to show you this time. I promise. All right, we got lots to get into here, so let's look at our picks for today. Okay, I'll call it Blue Jackets versus the Avalanche. Um, uh, right here. Okay, so we got tons of people out for Colorado. Uh, apparently, they're going to be putting Jonas Johansson in. As well, we see Rantanen is not there. Burakovsky is out. Uh, it doesn't have Makar here for some reason. Oh, yeah, here he is. Gone on IR. Like, that's some big guys that are gone off this roster. It's fairly thin. Fortunately for them, they're playing a Columbus Blue Jackets team that has not been really playing all that well. Um, they have tough, a difficult time getting offense. They have uh, a pretty thin lineup as well. They're playing guys like Gregory Hoffman up on the third line. Igor Shinnikov in a perfect world would probably be in the AHL right now. Um, Boone Jenner is flying. Five goals already this season. Um, they're fairly healthy, but the lineup itself is just not that great. So you got a Colorado Avalanche team that's going to be relying on their number one line, uh, which is missing a player as well. Landis Gog and McKinnon are going to try to chew these guys up a little bit. Plus, they're playing a backup that's a little bit of a question mark. Now, Johansson, 
he has been working with the goaltender coaches there quite a bit. I have a feeling he's going to be a lot better than we've seen in, since we last saw Johansson, which wasn't very good. Well, he was okay. I, I think he's going to be a little better, though. Um, so I think Colorado is end up going to play a very uh, more defensive game against Columbus. They're really um, – they don't want to lose this by coughing up the puck and – um, I don't think they want to run and gun and allow Patrick Lyonet to have his have he's still got a great shot, have his way at giving uh, taking shots from the even if from the hash marks he can score. So I think they're going to try to clog up the neutral zone. Now the question is, who do I think is going to win? And uh, I'm still I'm leaning, I'm still, oh man, I'm going to say, you know what, it's a coin flip. So let's go with the Columbus Blue Jackets for the money that they're getting, which is, sorry, for the money that they're getting, which is 250. You might as well take the dog here to give her a shot. Uh, if you're going to play this one at all, I would say. Um, next we got the blues versus the Kings. Oh, I started the wrong way. That's what had happened. Let's go back up here. Edmonton Oilers versus the Nashville Predators. And, uh, now I don't, I wouldn't toss tons of money on Edmonton here. I know you're going to say, well, you know, Nashville's on a back to back. Uh, they played a really good game against Calgary last night, and they're probably going to have their backup in. Um, however, I am so not happy. I'm an Oilers fan with the defense for Edmonton. Barry, CC, Cuckoo, uh, and Keith have all been poor. Seriously, not a very good. Not and Darnell Nurse as well. Defensively, he is. Uh, well, what can I say? Bad, <laughs> I guess. To put it mildly, he's been bad. He's been put. They haven't even really been putting a lot of offensive numbers up, and that's ridiculous with this lineup, which has been making it very difficult for the offense. Although they have been, their top nine has been saving their butt. Um, if it was Nashville and Edmonton, and Nashville wasn't on a back to back. I'm probably leaning Nashville here. Uh, Nashville has been outworking teams throughout. Uh, they have been um, Duchesne and Forsberg. Sorry, have been. Oh wait, Forsberg out. Oh, that'll help out a lot. Okay, Forsberg is out, so they got to bring La Toivonen in out here. Wow, you know what? I just noticed that at that this moment. Okay, so. At that, even at that, their defense has been playing extremely well. Uh, Josie Fabro at home has been excellent so far, and that's going to be the thing. It's going to be tough for them to cycle down low with that defense. Nashville is going to come out you, come at you with everything they got. They're going to wor outwork uh, most a lot of teams, and I wouldn't doubt that they outwork Edmonton at, at, at uh, some of this game, if not half this game. Wouldn't doubt it. Apparently, Smith is supposed to be back for Edmonton, though, and I think that's going to really tip the scales for me. Um, I think with Smith and Net, the defensive lapses aren't going to hurt as much. Edmonton will find their spots against Nashville, especially a Nashville that's losing, missing one of their top forwards in Forsberg, like the top forward in Forsberg. So I'm going to take Edmonton here to win for sure you can check you can decide if you want to go in reg or money line um that if you go over again to my patreon you can get all these picks my final picks for all of these things it changes over time i don't know maybe if koskinen goes in i i sway it sways my decision all of those things that's why it's a really good idea to go over there and check it out or Seven eight zero six nine zero one nine nine five. Message me there, and we'll work out something where you can start getting paying for picks daily, and uh, so you can just try it out, see how it works out for you. Maybe you don't want to commit for a month.
But I'll tell you, we're all making money. I'm getting, I'm actually getting tips from my Patreon members right now because they're making so much money. They're throwing me more money. Pretty cool. Um, don't know why I got a talent for this, but it seems like I just do. Uh, Hurricanes versus Blackhawks. And uh, Chicago is looking a lot better lately. Uh, as we know, uh, Kane came back. That helps. That's going to change the energy of that team. I don't think this is a, this is a, for sure for Carolina. However, I do think I, I just trust in Carolina's uh, Brindamore's way of uh, sort of picking apart teams as they go. I think Carolina is going to try to sort of trap trap Chicago a little bit at first. Uh, they again, they don't want to run and gun with this team. Uh, I Chicago is going to come back and be a better team this year. I truly believe that. Um, they have a lot of uh, one shot offense guys like Dominic Kubelik, um, and of course, Alex Debrinkat that haven't really hit their stride right yet with all the issues that went on in Chicago. Um, remember the last game I liked Chicago because the energy changed now that it's all over in that terrible situation that happened there. Um, I just think that I think they're going to come out and do very well here. I just don't see them having the especially defense to Han Seth Jones played better defensively last game I I do believe Jones is Seth Jones is going to get better in Chicago I do believe that he I know he's been a uh, hot mess defensively so far but I do believe he's going to get at least below average just below average that's all he needs to do with his offensive abilities um, Eric, but with Eric Gustafson in and uh, I, uh, Isaac Phillips isn't getting very many minutes, I think a healthy Carolina team is going to be able to pick this team apart. Mark Andre Fleury's playing fantastic. Um, next, uh, let's look at Carolina. Whoops, Carolina. I thought I had all these set up, but I, yeah, apparently not. Um, Carolina is, like I said, they pick teams apart. They have many systems that they can play. Everybody plays in uh, almost, it's just effort perfectly together. They know when it's time to shut it down. They know what to do when they shut it down. Brendan Moore has them playing mechanically. That's the word I'm looking for. And uh, yeah, I think Chicago is going to give them a scare, but eventually they'll find a way to pull it out. I, and that's what I mean by that. Um, I think you have to take this in reg. Um, I'm a little tentative. I'm not putting a lot on this game, but I will put a little bit and I will have to go in reg because you're just not getting the money to do it any other way. Uh, oh, you're getting 163. You can ML this. So, yeah. Um, probably, uh, I'm going to go Carolina though. Um, for sure, I, I I really I think I'm gonna go to go go for Carolina. Now they may throw in something and put Ranta in. I doubt it. Uh, it's probably gonna be Anderson. Good goaltending battle, but I think Carolina will pull it out for their ninth win to make them completely uh, uh, without losses again, like a nine game winning streak. Pretty cool. Uh, Give I might be in on Chicago next one. It's going to be interesting to see how Chicago does here. St. Louis versus Los Angeles. And uh, there's been some stuff coming out that Shen may not be in um, with uh, L.A. Uh, let me see. Is Doughty's out for a long time? Walker's out for a long out for season. LA is playing better and better every game. I I liked I, I, like I predicted before the season started, and Jay Kopitar is having a killer season. I figure you would with Dan O coming in and doing all the uh, um, taking the top minutes against the other team's top lines. Um, Rasmus Kupari has been playing a lot better, and gosh. Really, I think they need to get Kaliev up there in the top line somehow. I hope that they try that. I think he's got a – they need a shooter, and he's a shooter. It's – to me, it's really time for them to uh, 
to give him a much more of a shot. By the way, oh, Victor Arvidsson is on. Oh, that's not good. They're going to have Elias Anderson up on that line. So anyways, this is a pretty tough game. T pretty tough game. And the reason why is Braden Shen is out for St. Louis. So that leaves them with like Tyler Bozak and Josh. Every, everybody moves up. And there's no O'Reilly. But you've got, you know, great Tarasenko playing well, David Perron playing well. I've been go I've been going back and forth here. I've been going back and forth on this game. You know, I, I you know what? I think this could be a tie. It could be a tie. Um I think they're going to be playing very careful with all their players being out. Uh, and uh, Bennington has been playing very well. I'm going to lean St. Louis for now. I, I just, I, you know, Vladimir Tarasenko has looked exceptional so far. Uh, Perron's got that first shooter. They just might be able to um, beat L.A. on the wings. And uh, pull ahead. I don't know what the score will be, but I'm saying St. Louis. A little bit of a tough card here, for sure. No doubt about it. I have total picks on my Patreon that you can go to for totals. Uh, these are free. Show it out. Go look at my last video. Uh, see how I did. You can. You'll see that I did very, very well. And uh, we'll see, catch you for tomorrow's games. Tell me what you think. What you're picking down there. If you got parlays or whatever. And uh, by the way, if you like parlays, I do that on Patreon too. So go just download the Patreon app, search BPAL picks, come and join the frolic and sub up, why don't you? Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.